So this is going to be a sequence of things that you can do in the car to try and reduce pain or stress on your back or shoulders. Uh, I want to thank my wife Alyssa Cipriani for taking this video even though she really doesn't want to. You're going to hear a Toy Story in the background because we've got two kids back there. So a couple things. The first one is for my neck. I'll do a lot of just this light tuck of my chin and press back into the headrest of my seat. Which is a good stretch for the back of the neck to try and break up this posture. A lot of times I'll turn a little bit and press as I tuck my chin and it'll buy us a stretch on one side. Same thing, turning a little bit the other way, tucking my chin and pressing back into the seat. A lot of times if I'm getting a little bit of a headache or soreness up here, that'll take care of it. The next thing is with my arms. I'll take one arm and I'll kind of walk the roof of the car, just to wherever it feels comfortable and back out. If it feels okay, I may hold it there for a minimum of five seconds, upwards of 20 to 30 seconds. Same thing on the other arm, walk in the ceiling, potentially moving in and out of it or holding. The other one that's nice is to take my hand on the roof of the car and as I press, I suck my shoulder blade down. So instead of pressing up like this, when I press, my shoulder blade actually drops. So it's another good isometric movement to get my arms overhead and decrease that forward position that a lot of us end up in. These I usually hold anywhere from 5 to 10 seconds and then relax. Another one that I really like is I'll take one arm between myself and the seat and then in this position I'll just lean back against my arm which encourages a little bit of a lumbar support and then if you watch my shoulder I'll lightly pull back which will give me a nice stretch to the top front of my shoulder. All of this stuff I could do while very safely driving and watching the road. If this is bothersome on the shoulder, you can back off a little bit and go more down, kind of in the middle of your back, reaching your fists down towards the seat, which is a little less tension on the shoulder if that's too tight. But ideally, I try and get my forearm uh, parallel across my lower back. I'll even maybe work up into this mid-back reaching position, making sure that once I get there, I'll suck my shoulder down and back to feel that stretch. Um, so that's a nice little sequence in the car. Keep yourself moving.